I don't know, because it was some uh, conversations between Harry Anderson and Reinhold Wiege. But they wrote, uh, I had done a character uh, in an earlier year of, of, of Night Court, and they, they um, I think that helped give them the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure, but uh, there was a, a sort of bizarre uh, um, character there who was uh, in a hospital. Uh, and uh, so they decided to, to write this character, and Reine wrote it, obviously. But, uh, and then I got it, and I did something. I, I spent a lot of time researching the emotional levels of this character so that I could be completely at one with the uh, with the character. Uh, I'd like to do that in television. I'd get a kick out of doing that with uh, another another character, uh, but a character similar in nature to Buddy Ryan, mm. because that's a uh, that's a beautiful uh, character. I'd, I'd I'd love to do that in a series. That would be great. Uh, it, it would, you see, more important than anything, I want to create value. It's interesting. Years ago, Johns Hopkins did an article when I was in Three Penny Opera mm -hmm. and had just gotten into Major Barbara. And uh, the last line in the story is they ask me a question, what's my goal? And I said, I want to create something of value on the stage. And I realized it was really interesting for me to take a look at that article because one of the things I teach in this class called Contemporary Theater and Film is I want them to understand what value creation is. And uh, uh, we define it, and uh, and uh, a lot of the course is based on an exploration of that, mm. and an exploration of um, of the hero in in drama, and what constitutes the hero, and how that affects acting and how we can approach something this way. And I tried to give them a toolkit to be able to determine whether a movie or a play is worthwhile, or basically does it create value, and what kind of value, and so on. 